think of septic shock, it's never straightforward and always accompanied by tachycardia and hypotension. They're always really sick patients. And how often have you thought that beta blockers might be useful to control heart rate and possibly make patients better? But we don't use beta blockers because of negative inotropic and hypotensive effects. However, now in JAMA is an intriguing report which involves patients in septic shock with heart rates of greater than 95 per minute or and requiring high-dose norepinephrine to maintain an adequate arterial pressure of 65 millimeters mercury or higher. The researchers randomly assigned patients to achieve a continuous infusion of esmolol titrated to maintain heart rate between 80 and 94 for their ICU stay and control patients who had standard treatment. The primary outcome was reduction in heart rate by esmolol and, no surprise, the targeted heart rate was achieved in all patients in the esmolol group compared with those in the control group. But here's the interesting result. 28-day mortality was 49% in the esmolol group versus 81% in the control group. For patients in septic shock, open use label of esmolol versus standard care was associated with reduction in heart rates to achieve target levels without increased adverse events and the observed improvement in mortality and other secondary clinical outcomes is intriguing. It warrants further investigation. Stay tuned on this one. For CardioSource, I'm Peter Block.